Hello YouTube. So, I found out some stuff about my bike today. Uh, first off, we'll start off with the Max's tires. There's the tires installed, you guys. And I just got them on and went to for a quick drive. There was barely any gas and I just I just switched it over to uh, reserve. And I went to, down the road, just not very far, probably about a kilometer. And back, and I parked it in the dooryard. My baby girl wanted to go for a ride, so I <sighs> started to back up, go for a drive, and it spit and sputtered. I figured it was really out of gas, but usually when you flip it over on uh, reserve, you got quite a ways you can go on reserve. So I shut it off, and I figured, well, maybe the young fella put something in my gas tank. So there's my gas tank sitting right there. Now, the sad thing is, after I went and pulled the cover off and looked inside of it, it looked kind of milky. And I dumped it out, and it was white. And stuff was coming out. It was sugar. So, I have somebody that's got a grudge against me. And I know who it is. But I will be finding him. And I will be beating him. So, I have... Uh, I gotta clean the gas tank out now. It's it's completely empty of gas. So I'm gonna have to buy some gas and rinse it out and dump it and do that a couple times. <clears throat> so I figure, well, while I have it off, I might as well do the valves. Holy shit, the exhaust valves was tight. I couldn't even get an eight in there and it calls for a nine. And I didn't have a nine, so I put it at an eight and figured it's better to have it a little looser until I get the proper uh, feeler gauge. But uh, yeah, that's what that is now. So I got the exhaust valves set to eight and they're not real tight on the feeler gauge. So it should be almost close to a nine. I'd rather have them a little bit loose than tight. <coughs> so the fronts are six in the, that would be the intake and the exhaust is a nine. So I got them done. I will do them again here when I get the proper feeler gauge for the exhaust. It won't take very long. But uh, the tires look so nice, you guys. All right, I put them on at the shop. And the guys that put it on, they gouged my rim on the inside. And it's not real bad, but I wasn't too pleased. But what can you do, right? Uh, they're hard to change tires on ATVs on them wheel changers, so... I didn't really expect to uh, go and have to dump out all the fuel, the, well, what was left in the reserve. And I figured, well, I might as well do the valves. And the carburetor, whatever's in there, uh, I can't see there being too much in the carburetor because, like I said, we caught it in time. And uh, I'm just going to take and, and uh, put some Supreme gas in the tank, swish, swish it around, and dump it over into another container and do that a couple times and and I'm gonna dump a full tank of gas with Supreme in there and I'm gonna run it I don't think it'll run her I don't think it's gonna hurt it anyway at all because I think I caught it in time I haven't drove the bike so that was a kilometer not even a kilometer I just went up the driveway and over to that little road and back here so I caught it in time thank freaking God but uh, yeah so what do you think of the tires? Now I'm going to give you a review on these tires, but I'm going to be giving a review much later on down the road. Uh, these are the um, uh, Wanda's uh, P350s, I do believe, and uh, they got a nice tread on them. As you can see, I didn't go far because they're not very dirty. And uh, these are pretty much a knockoff from the Maxxis uh, tires. So. A lot of good reviews, uh, and there was no videos on these tires. So I figured, well, what the hell, I'm going to do a good review on them. I'm going to take these out and show you what they work like in the mud. Once I get everything settled and back together. <coughs> so I want you to subscribe and uh, push that little button, the bell on the bottom, so you'll get a notification of the review on these tires. Um... Like I said, they, uh, they're a really aggressive tire. They will rip up, as you can see, just for a little bit right there. They will rip up your lawn, so they should get good grip. 
And I made sure that these tires all went on a certain way, like I said, with the uh, hook facing that way. And uh, they're all the same. But other than that, you guys, that's what I get into. Tearing it down and setting valves. I needed it done anyway. The guy that sugared my tank actually saved me my top end because the uh, exhaust was way too tight. I couldn't get an 8 in there and I don't think I could get a 7 in there. So she was way too tight and I haven't did the valves for almost two years, which usually I don't do that. But I don't have a shop no more, as you can see. I'm not uh, living in the same spot that I used to be. I'm with somebody else now, a baby and getting married. So. Uh, you guys probably know, probably went through the same situation. I'm not going to go there. But uh, yeah, so there's those tires. They're installed. Right now I have uh, about three pounds in each tire. One thing I have noticed about the bike since after the winter's done, I crack the light cover. If you guys know where I can get one of those, I looked on eBay. That's where I bought my last one was on eBay, but I can't find another one. So looking for one of those so if you know where I can get one put it in the message down on the bottom and hopefully somebody can give me a hand on that now the starter on this bike worked really good all the winter all through winter I've cranked and cranked because we've had some cold days and this is original starter so I do uh, plan on putting a new one on it because I'm gonna have one in the basement because I've known some people that has the same bike and uh, their starter has already went. So I'm going to uh, buy one and put it in the basement and have it for a backup. So the next job I gotta do to this bike is change the oil. And uh, that's gonna be done next week. And some new gas. I'm gonna have to take that back off and clean it out and I'm just going to put it all back together and park the bike and cover it and then I'm going to take the gas tank back off and clean it out and and uh, go from there um, in the meantime if uh, you guys think that I got I think I got most of it out I don't know exactly how much is in there but you look in and you can see some stuff in there but maybe I don't have to go too far of cleaning it out maybe it won't even hurt the bike if i just fill it up with supreme and run it i don't know let me know in the, or in the messages down below you guys but uh yeah that's where i'm at i was going to do a review of tires and now i'm in uh, another process of cleaning sugar so subscribe you guys and don't forget to click that bell on the bottom to get the new update or the notification for the review on these tires because it's going to be coming soon I apologize for taking so long. Weather is just now, uh, snow is all gone pretty much now. I just actually last night it uh, took most of it from all the rain. We had a lot of rain here, so <sighs> disappointed in the things that I have to deal with with idiots that lives around me. But I'll see him around. Apparently he's in jail. He broke into somebody's house and he's in jail, so I'm gonna have to wait to get my hands on him. Unless I know somebody in jail where he is and tell him to thump him for me. But uh, I don't know too many people in there right now, I don't think. So, real you guys, thanks for uh, watching. Like I said, subscribe. Later.